Count yourself blessed. If you are still here and you have your family members still here, nobody passed away, thank you, Jesus. I'm not going to knock on wood, but I'm just going to give God his praise and honor that he deserves for keeping us. What's up, my love bugs and love muffins? This is Mama Love, and welcome back to my channel. And I'm just going to be doing... I don't know, some type of mukbang with you all. Mukbang, mukbang, however you pronounce it. Cause I got some things I'd like to discuss. Things that's been on my spirit, things that have been bothering me. So stay tuned as I prepare my food and I'll get back with you. Okay, love bugs, I'm back. I had to fix my, get my meal prep meal together, but this, this is it. I just, it's basically out of this tray y'all and I took and just put it on a plate. That's what I'm. Mmm, look at that. Oh, so good. And um, also, I had made me some lemon, which you guys was talking about, cut up lemon and lime, and why it's yellow like this, is I mixed it with some, some defense, y'all, um, vitamin C, 1,000 milligrams, I mixed it with that, so I felt led to do that. Mama, I, you know, I was just trying to catch a little little sinus, you know, and I ain't trying to play around with it, so, um, yeah, so, anyway, so, what was on my heart was, I don't know if y'all all heard about, um, the 15-year-old that got stabbed in Walmart, and, um, I don't know, it's stuff like that, y'all, it really bothers my spirit, and I don't even know why, I'm not good at doing mook bangs and stuff, so I'm probably doing more talking and eating and stuff, let me move this right in front of me, because I don't even know why I got it on that side anyway, but there's some things I had wrote down that uh, I thought about in a, in a scripture, scriptures that I had wrote down, scriptures that came to me, because um, one of the um, parents that... Uh, the little girl, her little girl was, I guess the fourth one or whatever. She was telling her story on um, Facebook Live. And I ain't here to judge nobody, y'all. Uh, our kids, hey, our kids, you know what I'm saying? I ain't one of them type to be like, my kids ain't like that and blah, blah, blah and all that. But she was um, saying how, you know, I guess she was defending her daughter's character or whatever. And... You know, she said she caught a lot of wrath from that or whatever. And, um, you know, at first I, when I clicked on it, you know, I judged. I judged, y'all. I did. First thing I said was, don't want to hear that. Don't. Gone. You should have. Where was you at? You should have, you know. But as I began to listen to her, you know, I had to repent. I had to ask God, forgive me. I'm sorry, Lord, you know. You, you don't know nobody's story. You know what I'm saying? You don't know no, nobody's story. And I'm not here to defend no one. I'm not here to, uh, you know, uh, act like this didn't happen. Her name was Melanie Delana Lyons. And um, <clears throat> so I, I, I'm, I give my condolences to the parents that lost their daughter. That's very, very hard. I don't even know what to say. Um, anyways, I was thinking about that, how the scripture came to me when the mother was explaining her daughter's character, the other one, the, the one that says her daughter's 12 years old, and she was saying that she was supposed to be at the movies, and then the girls walked over to Walmart behind the movies, that was behind the movies, to see a fight. And the first thing that came to me was what I used to always tell my kids all the time, like, if y'all see a fight... Or if y'all see, um, and they was hard headed too. Um, if you you see a fight or something, you always like never run to it. Like if you see an accident happen where there's involving ambulance or police or whatever, don't be one of the ones with your phone standing out there. You know, always go the opposite way of trouble. You know, and I had wrote down the scripture I wanted to, because it was on me and I wanted to show y'all it's true that. Uh, it's in Proverbs 6 and 8. A heart that devises wicked schemes, in other words, plot, feet are quick to rush to evil. And also, Proverbs 22 and 6 say, Train up a child in the way they should go, and when they grow old, they shall not depart from it. 
Proverbs 6 and 8. Was what I was always tell my kids. Don't be so quick and, and, and to run to evil because you never know. Now, had you not went that route to go be nosy or get your cell phones out, because we all all guilty of it. We've done it. And, and film something, you know what I'm saying, that's going on. Maybe you're trying to get for good cause. Maybe you're trying to get world star. I don't know what you're trying to do. But when you go to doing stuff like that, just know that you could be a target as well in that matter. You could get blamed because you be there at the wrong time you know what i'm saying and you'd be like well i was only there trying to watch you know i didn't know she was gonna kill her or i didn't know he was gonna shoot him or you never know or you could be one of the victims that end up getting shot or stabbed being in the way so i always tell my kids to run away you know what i'm saying be swift don't be don't be swift to to run and to evil because i know the word i know the bible always talked about it and i remember that scripture and so when she was talking about that about her uh, uh her little girl she wasn't even supposed to be at walmart and i was just thinking about wow you know and then a, a other part came up to came to me where it said train your child in the way they should go and when they grow they should not depart from it she said she knows better she was trained she knows better that's why she wasn't on that camera because you know, her voice was not seen and she was not seen because she knows better. She knew not to be over there. She knew she would get in trouble. Uh, we can't judge people for the things that they, ch they children do behind their back because I am one of the mothers that have been judged a lot because of the things that my kids have done. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying uh, they've done, you know, like things that, you know, because Tina and Terrell or Queen, don't, they don't have no... Re uh, record period no police involvement none of that stuff you know none of my kids and I thank God for it and I'm not not gonna knock on wood but I'm gonna praise God for it but you know when you when you constantly tell a child that you know you training them you letting them know don't you know I told my kids never run from the police if you ain't did nothing and and they get to chasing or uh, 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 in their car following you or whatever, don't take off running, walk. You ain't did nothing. So if they get off the car and they go to questioning you or whatever, don't get haughty with them. You know what I'm saying? Because we supposed to obey the law and sometimes we can bring trouble on ourselves because of the fact the way we answer, you know, I know it's your car and you need to put your, uh, you don't have to put your cigarette out and that police officer asked you to, but you know, it's, it's different ways that we could respond to things that whether we gonna cause trouble or whether we gonna make peace, you know. You don't gotta say to him, it's my mother effing car. I, this, I gotta got put on my got these cigarette. That's causing trouble. That's stirring up fire and trouble. You don't even have to go that route. Like, you know, I know this my car. I know this my cigarette. Put the cigarette out. Because later on your family needs you. Peace, that's what I'm saying. Make peace. And um, the scripture, Proverbs 28 and seven say, young people who obey the law are wise. But those who, but those with wild friends bring shame to their parents. These are the scriptures, y'all, that was popping up as she was just telling the story. And I'm sitting here, I'm feeling so bad because she's defending her character. And, you know, she know her child. She know her child. And she know, you know, at the age, 12 years old, like that girl, she said that girl wasn't even, the girl that, stabbed Melanie wasn't even her daughter's friend the little 12 year old girl's name is Bethany whatever she said she wasn't even her friend you know but it's she said she just kept saying over and over and over again you know she she was at the wrong place at the wrong time she just shouldn't have been there you know and that goes to that part where we should uh uh that comes to me too we should be obedient to our parents obey our parents and stuff it's plenty of times that Tan and Terrell have come to me and asked me, um, <clears throat> could they go to a party? And first place, I mean, first thing I say is where? What, what, what city? You know, and if they go to Namanoff, you know, of course, some wild area. I ain't gonna say the areas because I don't want to offend nobody, but I mean, your neighborhood bad, your neighborhood bad, you know. And off the tops, it was like, nah, no way, you know. And they knew it, you know what I'm saying? Like, I knew she was gonna say no. They telling their friends in the background, I told you she was gonna say no. You know, because I'm a type of person, I've always been a, like a peacemaker. I, I don't like to cause trouble, you all. You know, I had plenty of, uh, I was pulled over plenty of times by police officers. And, and in the beginning, 
they would be very hostile with me because, you know, I'm black, you know. So off the top, they're hostile. But when they ask for my license and they go back to their car, they come back to, to my car and they seem to be, you know, they calm down, they're very nice. One, one officer say, ma'am, have a good day. He didn't even tell me what he pulled me over for. He just said, ma'am, have a good day. You know, because that track record shows. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't up here quick and swift to get in some trouble or call some stuff and get myself to where I have to answer to the law because I shouldn't have been a certain place at a certain time. And that just always seemed to happen like that with our kids. So I just wanted to say, watch those eggs, baby, because they sideways. Okay. I just wanted to say um, my food getting cold, y'all. I'm not good at talking and eating at the same time. But I just wanted to say, no, well, we got to watch our kids. I mean, when you say you're training your child, the Bible says train up a child in the way they should go. And when they grow old, they shall not depart from it. Now, you can take that another way. We can train up a child up in the way they shouldn't go. We can train up a child in the way they shouldn't go and disobey that word of God and that child gonna become just what you train them to be. And I'm gonna say this because a lot of us, I'm saying us as people, as a people, us, but I'm, I'm not talking about me specific because I ain't never been that type to be like, yeah, mine ain't gonna be a ride or die when she, my, she can, boy, she ain't gonna play it, boy. She gonna grow up, she gonna cuss, she gonna cuss a nigga out. She gonna, he gonna be ready to blow somebody away. I ain't, I'm gonna raise a mind, man. Mine ain't gonna be bout it, bout it. Mine gonna, I'm saying bout it, bout it. Y'all know what age I am. But mine's gonna be bout it, bout it. Mine's gonna be right. Mine ain't gonna play that. Mine's gonna run up on you. I, go, go, go get her. Go get her, go get her. You know what I'm saying? One of them type, like, go to her house. I, you know, put your kids in the car. Go on, uh-uh, mm -mm. We ain't about that. Let them know we ain't about that life. You know? You don't mess around and get your kids killed. Trying to be bout it, bout it. Trying to show that you, do, you know, y'all don't play. You know, had your kids up and some stuff. You know, now, I have had a few arguments and disagreements with people. I can't help my kids automatically, like, they're going to jump in. And that's what, that's what any mother and their child or their children, they automatically going to jump in. They gon' you know, and they gonna say what they say, and they gonna defend their mother at all costs. Every child is gonna be like that. That's just. But I'm not talking about that type of defense. I'm talking about the ones that, you know, you know, my kids was beefing with other kids. I never encouraged my kids to go over there and drive them over there. Or I'm not saying that this woman did that. I'm not saying she she drove over there. But I'm speaking in general, because um, there have been a lot of stories on how uh, parents. You know, got the, like this one incident, the woman drove her daughters to a fight and they got killed and the mom drove off and left. You know, never drive your kids to wrath. The Bible says stay away from it. You know, when you see something going on in the streets, run the other way, kids. Don't, don't, and just stop recording fights. People out here losing their life. And y'all talking about world star, why somebody getting beat down. Do you know you could have stopped that person from being killed? But y'all got it on camera. Dang, she dead. Look, she dead. Look at her. She landed. But this world is crazy. You know what I'm saying? I pray to God that this never happened to any of my kids. I plead the blood of Jesus against it. And any of my loved ones, not just my kids, but, but my family, my, the saints of God, everybody else's children, the neighbor's kids. You know what I'm saying? You see something, you stop it. Or if you, if you scared enough to stop it, if you scared to stop it, call the police. So what? They say you a snitch. You ain't got to know. They ain't got to know that you dialed 911 up under. You know what I'm saying? I've got a way to call the police to save somebody's life. You know what I'm saying? Because it's just senseless killings out here. People out here killing people already. But when your kids, when it's babies start doing this, it's just out of hand, y'all. It's just like getting to the point where it's just ridiculous. And when you stick to that word, and I ain't talking about, you know, no... Whether you, you know, you fall and, and you know, ain't no judging here like, hey, 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 you talking that, you ain't perfect. It ain't about that. It's about sticking to the word of God and going by it, whatever. That's things that I have been taught, that my parents have taught me, and boy, I thought they were so strict. Man, my father, a long time ago, uh, my cousins, I was, uh, they, they were some girls picking on them. My cousins used to always get, you know, picked on. And so um, they got fed up with it. And so um, 
they went and hopped in the car and I went and hopped in the car with them. I went and hopped in the car with my cousins, you know. And I was about 15 when this happened. Boy, my daddy went off on me. My daddy went off and rightfully so. Rightfully so, you know what I'm saying? He said, don't you ever in your life, it ain't got nothing to do with you, don't you ever hop in that car and call yourself getting yourself, you could have got yourself in some mess. Anything could have transpired and happened. My father came down hard on me for that. I'm th I thank God for my parents, you know, but all I'm saying is with my kids, you know, I've always told my kids, like, don't be, look, if you see a fight, I, I used to get mad when Tina would come home from school and she'd been recorded a fight when she was in middle school. And I'm like, don't do that. I mean, you could have, if you ain't stopped the fight, you instigating and all of that type of stuff. You know, like she was saying, kids will be kids. Kids is gonna be kids. And like I said, I ain't justifying nothing. I ain't justifying nothing. I'm just saying how human nature is. We be, it's peer pressure. We be trying to fit in with the crowd. You know what I'm saying? We don't want nobody calling us with your lame self. You scary, you know, we ain't hanging with you no more. Kids go through that type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? But always train your, your kids up the right way because regardless, I know for a fact, Tina and Terrell don't do everything I tell them to do and neither has Queen. But I do know this for a fact, when trouble come, I know my kids ain't quick to run to it. I, I know they're not because they have told me like things that happen and you know, like, no, I ain't going over there. She shouldn't have been there. Or just, just they, you know, responsive to certain things that be going on in life and they be like, Oh, she shouldn't have went over there. She shouldn't have went with them. She should have been in there. I listen to the way they talk and, and how they respond to things. It lets me know, mm hmm okay. You know, it's ways that you can pay attention to your kids when you're talking to them without um, prying in their business or sneaking up on them. Have conversations with your kids. Find out where their head's at, you know? And I have done that a lot. So I just wanted to say to the young kids, you know, that's listening or parents that have young children, Encourage your kids not to not to be so fast to run to trouble. Train them up the right way. Let them know they can get hurt and all that about it, about it mess. And I ain't raising mine up to be no punk. And that's and that's cool. We ain't none of us raising our kids up to be a punk. We just raising them up to do the right thing and to protect themselves. That's what we're doing. But we ain't never gonna raise them to be no punk. But that don't mean always, you know, defend yourself as far as you know, run into a fight or jumping in, he jumped on my boy or they jumping my girl. They ain't got nothing to do with you. I may say I'm wrong for this or whatever, but hey, this, this is the way I raised mine. If they was gonna fight, what you fighting for? Well, that's, that's my friend. You ain't got nothing to do with that though. That ain't your fight. Stay out of that. You never know what could happen. You don't never know what that other friend may do. Somebody could get killed and guess what? You, you're, you're the one that's, that's behind bars. And, and I gotta worry. I gotta sit up all night. You know what I'm saying? So that's what y'all should think about kids when y'all out and y'all doing things. You know, you think about your parents. You know, <laughs> I, my son, he's, you know, real quiet and a lot of people describe him as non-problematic. But there, there is a side that he's, he's quick tempered. You know, and I can't really blame him for that because he gets that from both the parents. You know, quick temper, okay. And, um, but I have to tell him sometime, you know, Terrell, I ain't scared. It don't, it don't, it don't matter that you're scared, but you know, you know, people carry knives, people carry guns, you know. It, like I told him the other day, you know, if, if somebody point a gun at me, who's like, I ain't no punk. Um, you got a gun at me and I ain't got a gun. I'm a punk. I'm just gonna say it. I'm a punk. I ain't got no gun. You got a gun at me and I ain't got no gun. And I'm gonna stand there and look at you. I ain't no punk, what? You shoot. No, no, no. I'll be missing my son. I don't want that to ever happen. So I was telling him that as far as his temper, you know, um, and I always pray. And that helps you all pray. When you find your kids talking like that, because they're young, they're young. They're young, y'all was young, we all was young before. We all was young teenagers and stuff. When you find your kids um, talking like that, don't don't go off on them, don't bash them, but give them a good talking to and, and make them see it from, you know, a different perspective. You know what I'm saying? Like, he said, I don't care, but I said, I do, I do. If I lose my son, don't don't bring hurt and harm on me. I know you're not scared, but I am. Okay. Think about your mama. You know, and that's 
what ways we have to, you know, talk and encourage our kids because I'm telling y'all, this world is evil and a lot of things is happening. Now that innocent girl lost her life. Melanie Delana Lyons, I am so sorry for, for her, you know, and um, I don't care what, what caused it. I don't, I don't know who started it, but it didn't matter. It, it, it didn't, it didn't matter her life. You know what I'm saying? And it didn't matter. Um, it just didn't, it just shouldn't have costed her life. Yeah, it shouldn't have did. It shouldn't. So with that being said, y'all, I just, just had to get that off my chest and I wanted to share that with y'all. Tina, you had that air fryer on next to my cell phone. Thank you, Jesus. That probably could have blew up. Sorry, Mom. Sorry. Anyway, I just wanted to uh, encourage y'all, and I just had to say that to get that off my chest, y'all. Right. I just want y'all to be blessed. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and eat this delicious salad, you know, because I can't, I found out something else about me. I can't eat and talk. I can't sit and do move bangs and chew and all that type of stuff, you know. But anyway, I'm going to let y'all go because I'm hungry, and I just had to, like I said, um, you know, pray over your children. I pray over my kids constantly. Why? Because it's not only just for protection, but it's for them to protect themselves, protect themselves against their selves, if you know what I mean. Um, that the Lord will stir them in another direction besides always, you know, it's ways to settle things without always having to get in a fight and go to blows, you know what I'm saying? And so what? I'm, 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 I'm a punk because you know, I'm not a fighter, and I and I try to talk in a peaceful way if I can. You know, I'm a punk, then let me be a punk. You know what I'm saying? But one thing about it, I'm not gonna be in the grave for it, and I'm not gonna be behind bars. And that's what y'all, y'all, y'all let y'all pride go. Put your pride to the side. You know, pride ain't no good. And um, that's why I wanted to tell y'all though. But I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Um, peace out, in Jesus' name, be blessed. And I'm about to eat my food. Um,